Okay, so in this video, we will try to solve um, higher order differential equation with constant coefficient. So, using the auxiliary equation in which the roots are distinct. Okay, so if your um, higher order differential equation has distinct roots, if you are going to transform that one into, um, into a auxiliary equation so if for example you found out that the your m the roots of the auxiliary equation your m is equal to um, for example we have m1 m2 um, m3 so on and so forth up to mn okay where n is the uh, highest number of roots so the n here is the, the number of the exponent the, de the degree of the auxiliary equation which is also equal to the number of roots okay so because this is distinct so we could have our general solution so we have y for example this is in terms of y so y will be equal to c1 e m1 plus c2 e m2 plus c3 e m3 so this we have here x, x, and x plus dot 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 plus m oh no c n c n e raised to m n x. Okay, so this will be your okay, this will be your general solution for auxiliary equation with distinct roots. Okay, so let's apply this one using an example. Okay, we have now this differential equation here. Y triple prime minus 4Y double prime plus Y prime plus 6Y is equals to 0. So we will transform this one first into the D operator. We have D cube uh, for D squared plus d plus 6 y is equal to 0 now getting the auxiliary equation okay so uh, m is equals to dy so we have m cube minus 4 m squared plus uh, m plus 6 is equal to 0 so you can use your calculator in getting the roots of this one so, for example, we have our calculator. So, if you have your calculator here. So, we have mode, equation. Then, we will choose this one, the fourth one. Okay. So, we have 1, the coefficient for m cube, negative 4, 1, and 6. And that will be so your first is your x your m1 so this is x1 here because the calcul is in default in terms of x so our m1 is equal to negative 1 so we just write down here m1 is equal to negative 1 maybe we should write m3 okay so we just prefer put that one then okay next so m2 is 3 and m3 is 2 okay so we have this will be 3 and this will be 2 of course you could have this one interchange so there is no problem for that because you're you'll be uh, getting the general solution okay so that's why we have the um, arbitrary constant of c1 c2 and c3 so this the roots could be enter uh, uh, could be exchanged or interchange the order is not um, is not necessary in getting the right answer so for example if you will write the general solution now so that is y your first one is c1 that is negative 1 so that is e negative m1 this e m1 so that will be negative so negative 1 so we have x plus c2 e 3x 
plus c3 e 2x. So, if this is your answer, so this is correct. You could also interchange that one. So, c1 e 3x plus c2 e negative x plus c3 e 2x. And this is still the same because you have an arbitrary constant. So, this will just be wrong if you now have the particular solution. So, for this instance, this is a general solution, so it could be correct. No matter how you will put your arbitrary constant or the order of your uh, general solution. Because if we are going to a evaluate uh, this one, the C1, C2, and C3, it will be corresponding to the roots that they are uh, partner with. Okay? So, the C1, C2, and C3 are just arbitrary constant okay so i hope you understand the uh, concept of auxiliary equation with distinct roots i hope you understand also the solution for the problem so the very first thing to do is just to um, apply the d operator then get the auxiliary equation then from the auxiliary equation get the roots so this is distinct roots so therefore you will have um a distinct number of roots corresponding to the degree of your auxiliary equation so for this instance this is three so that's why you have three roots three distinct roots so meaning three roots that are different from each other then out from that one you apply this general formula okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something and as always enjoy learning